in the face of considerable outrage at the article she wrote in the Daily Mail last week, um, Jan Moyer has since responded in her column. I'm not going to put a link up to it. I'll put a link up to the BBC reporting on it instead. If you want to look at the Daily Hile, then you'll have to find it yourself. Now, according to Moyer, it was never her intention to be hateful or homophobic, and she regrets any affront that was caused. She also apologises to Gately's family for the insensitive timing. So far, so good, you might think. But any credibility to these statements is immediately belied by what follows. She insists that if Gately had been heterosexual, she would have written exactly the same article. Now, given the amount of focus that she gave to Gately's sexual orientation, I find that hard to believe. In fact, I don't just find it hard to believe, I find it to be an outright fucking lie. Her defence of the phrase, nothing natural, is laughable. Apparently, it was meant to indicate that there is nothing natural about someone dying prematurely. An argument that is so lamentably flimsy, I don't even feel the need to cover it in any more detail here. Then, predictably, it's off to the cliché cupboard, as the old conservative chestnuts make their appearance. Moyer protesting that there is a compulsion today to see bigotry and social intolerance by people who are determined to be outraged. The irony of her employer's involvement in stoking the Jonathan Ross Russell Brand prank telephone furore seemingly lost on Moyer and her editor, and more likely on most of her readership. Moyer protests that the reaction to her column was disproportionate and unjustified. Um, in her column, she talks of the response in cyberspace as having lit a spark, then a flame, and turned into a roaring ball of hate fire blazing unchecked across the internet. This purple prose followed into cliché overdrive by Can it really be that we are becoming a society where no one can dare question the circumstances or behaviour of a person who happens to be gay without being labelled a homophobe? If so, that is deeply troubling. Yes, Jen, it's political correctness gone mad, isn't it? You couldn't make it up. Moyer describes the response to her article as not being totally one-sided, and she refers to thousands of supportive emails from readers and well-wishers who describe themselves as the silent majority. Not so silent, though, that we don't hear them baying for blood over every hysterical shitstorm that the hile and similar vile organs kick up at the first opportunity. Apparently, uh, to quote from the article verbatim, their view, and mine, was that it was perfectly reasonable of me to comment upon the manner of Stephen Gately's death, even if there are those who think that his celebrity and sexuality make him untouchable. What Moore fails to see is that although it was her right to comment, it was also everybody else's right to respond. With freedom of action comes responsibility and accountability for those actions. This ploy of trying to paint herself as the victim does nothing but reveal what a truly shabby individual she is. The reaction wasn't some politically correct rampage from people who were annoyed that she dare comment on Gately's sexual orientation, or that his celebrity status somehow makes him immune to comment or criticism. It was a reaction of outrage, horror and disgust to a hateful newspaper article that was filled with innuendo and driven by a sense of moral self-satisfaction that his tragic and untimely death had somehow been brought about by the consequence of his own actions and sexuality. It was people leaping to defend against lies and a spiteful and vicious, sly and insinuating attempt to besmirch another human being. It was people who, unlike her readership, didn't think that it was reasonable to publish such a mean-spirited piece based on supposition and lies before Gately's family and friends had even had the opportunity to say their goodbyes at his funeral. It was people who felt that it was highly inappropriate for this piece to be published. That's not people trying to pick a fight. It's empathy and basic human decency. Concepts that it seems this poisonous harridan and her supporters simply don't understand. <laughs>